Hi curly friends, my name is Natalie. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. Hey, before we start the video, please go ahead and click on the subscribe button as well as the bell icon so you're always going to be notified whenever I post new videos. So today I'm making my own Ayurvedic DIY deep conditioning mask. Not only is this mask natural, except for one is the is the conditioner it's not all natural but all the other ingredients are all ayurvedic i love ayurvedic items um especially when it comes to um henna treatment i used to do henna um a lot yeah it's been a while um since i did henna but um as you can see from the gray i had stopped doing it so today I'm going to take you to my kitchen. I'm going to show you how I make it and what are the ingredients. And I will talk more about what each of the ingredients does for your hair. So I'll be right back. I'm going to go get a tape measurement. We're going to measure how long my hair is. I'm going to use just the front of my hair as the starting point. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. So I'm back. So um, over this, during the week, I decided to cut off the brown portion of my hair. That brown portion was years of constant coloring on top of Hannah, on top of more coloring. So I decided to snip that off and just only let the grays do its thing. So as you can see, as you can see, I'll use this one. As you can see, it's really, really short. I really cut off a lot. It was about this long and I chop it off because I just didn't want it to be there. So I am going to use this as my starting point. Hold on. So he's been attacking me the whole entire time. And because I have the tape measurement, he's just been going cookie. This is, this is a rescue and he is just absolutely my little guy. He loves to snuggle. Anyways, enough talk about the cat. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap that around so the little critter guy does not try to attack ah! <laughs> oh my god <laughs> that was terrible <laughs> just <laughs> that was too funny because i scream my oldest i'll be right back <sighs> the oldest came to my rescue he is six years old he, he's an introvert and he's the best anyway that's it all right so let's go ahead and start measuring uh <laughs> it was funny Anyways, so as you can see, I really, I really, I was scissor happy and um, I started cutting my hair and I was talking to my hair, I was talking to a neighbor of mine who is a hairstylist and she colors hair and she told me, don't cut it anymore, don't cut it anymore, just leave your hair alone. And I said, okay. She says, I need that hair so I can do the coloring. And I said, okay. So this is what we're going to be working at. Let me take my glasses off. So um, this is what we're going to be working with. And I'm going to zoom it in. Okay. I can't do it. Uh, so. All right. So 
as you can see we're gonna start from here okay and this is how much I so uh, I think that's three inches I'm gonna say three yeah three inches so this hair is three inches so that's what we're going to be working with or we can just go with yeah we're going to go with this one instead and see how many inches so good to know that's three inches okay so this one we're going to go right here okay so how many inches is this one uh, let's say I'm gonna go with I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get a talk. Okay, there we go. Okay. So we're gonna go three inches. So it's three inches. And yeah, so that's what we're gonna do as of today's date. Um, I'm going to post the date of when we started the experiment. So today's date, this part of my hair is three inches long. So we're going to do a measurement um, every week. And uh, we're going to see how well doing Ayur Ayurvedic treatment helps with hair growth. Um, next week, I am also going to include vitamin C into the mix. So, hey, so let's go ahead and get on with the show. All right, so I'll take you to the kitchen. Hi, everyone. All right, and welcome, welcome back to my kitchen. So, before we go ahead and start, we're going to do some, we're going to dissolve a couple of things before we actually do the um before we actually make it so what we're going to be using today is the vital protein collagen peptides it has 20 grams of collagen per serving it's great for the skin hair nail and joint support it's grass-fed pasture raised it's unflavored dietary supplement so i use this in my green smoothie and nope it does not have any taste whatsoever it's great if you just want to add some collagen to your diet um i've been using this for uh quite some time um it's on and off as you can see this is what it looks like so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be adding is uh this is a quarter of a teaspoon so i'm going to use a half a teaspoon so let me go ahead i'm going to use this little bowl and that is one and two teaspoon two well two quarter teaspoon makes a half a teaspoon all right so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm going to place this in there so i can rinse it out with the water now what i'm also going to be using is the msm powder and before I do that, before I go into the MSM powder, let me just kind of talk about what collagen does. So basically, collagen, all right, so basically, collagen increases the body's hair building proteins, which can result in longer, thicker hair. Collagen may also help reduce the appearance of gray hair by supporting the healthy structure 
of the hair follicles where the pigment that gives the hair its color is produced. So now I'm going into the, like I said, I'm going into the MSM powder with Opti, wait, Opti MSM. It helps support the, support the joint and skin health. And it's also vegan. And what MS, MSM does is it is a sulfur, um, which... Let me, let me rephrase it. M MSM is a sulfur-rich compound with anti-inflammatory properties. MSM sulfur may form bonds essential to strengthening the keratin in the hair and influencing hair growth. So, side note, if you combine MSM, hold on, sorry about that, I had a cough. So, Side note, if you combine MSM with vitamin C, it produces collagen. And the collagen, like I say, collagen is your building block in hair growth. So <clears throat> I do see that there are several people out there in YouTube that has collagen along with MSM along with vitamin C. It is not necessary to add the collagen to the uh, to this DIY. The reason why I'm adding it in is because I don't have vitamin C. Therefore, it's okay. If you have too much collagen in your system, not only will it cause problems with your skin such as acne, uh, pimples, um, you don't want to do that. So with that being said, because I'm not adding vitamin C to the mix right now, I can go ahead and add the collagen because it will be safe. I wouldn't have to worry about collagen overload. So we're going to go in with collagen, um, not collagen, we're going to go in with the MSM powder. Now, you have to be kind of careful with MSM because you don't want to start off with such a high amount for um, um, to put into the, um, into the DIY. But you can also, if you take the... Um, MSM, I'm going to show you what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. It's very clean, it's white, and that's what you want. You don't want to see any color whatsoever. You don't want to see a pale yellow. You want this to be 100% white. That's when you know you have good stuff. And I'm going to show you the... It comes with its little scoop, but I'm not going to be using it. Um... So there is no other ingredients. As you can see, it says MSM, no other ingredients. So with that being said, so what I'm going to be doing is, um, like I was saying, is that you could take MSM powder and with vitamin C, um, dissolve it with some warm to hot water. And then you can mix that in with orange juice and drink it, and it's not bad at all. I, I don't even taste it at all. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be starting off slow, and I'm going to be using one-eighth of a teaspoon. That is my starting. I don't want to go too much, so I'm going to add that to the mix. Now, I've already heat up the water. Let me just check to see the temperature in this. I'm just going to pop it in for 10 seconds. All right. So, while that's warming up. So, basically, you could add that. You could drink it. It's fine. You can, you can uh, drink it. It won't hurt you um, at all. That's good. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and 
pour the water in so I can get it to dissolve everything. So, and then once it's nice and dissolved, that I don't see any traces of MSM, then I can go ahead and add that to the mix. So, as you can see, Okay, so the pale yellow is just because it's from the collagen. It has nothing to do with MSM. So I'm going to go ahead and pour that. I want to add a little bit of water just to kind of rinse it off. And there we go. So now I'm going to go ahead with the... With the conditioner so okay so this is my old faithful um when i had started off with the um curly girl method i use suave because this basically has no silicone at all so this smells really good um my daughter used it as well when she was younger and um it's only a dollar and 97 cents at walmart and you get 22 and a half fluid ounces so oh it smells so good so i'm gonna go ahead and add and this is the only thing that is not ayurvedic but you have but you need some kind of a conditioner for your hair you don't need to spend a lot of money on a conditioner you just get yourself a cheap conditioner you just need a base for it um to help with the um with your deep conditioner so now i'm gonna go in with the chebe powder this powder um is from south well it's from africa i purchased this a while back ago and this is very good product so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be using let me dry this up i'm not sure how much i'm going to be using but i'm going to use enough for what i need and so let me talk about chebe all right so the chebe powder is the reddish brown powder it's said to help reduce breakage and shedding which in turn promotes healthy wait sorry which in turn promotes the health of the hair and encourages hair growth potential traditionally it is mixed with water to form a thick paste with the shebe um but this is this particular one says that i can use any conditioner okay so we're gonna as you can see i have not used it at all and i'm gonna put a heaping i'm gonna put like i'm gonna put like one teaspoon i know they're all heaping i know that's more than one teaspoon i know that all right so make sure it smells like it smells good it smells like um curry why does it smell like curry i don't know it kind of smells like curry i don't know why it does but i guess my nose has you know smells different things all right so now going in next is the hibiscus powder which i love now this hibiscus powder i got it at the all 
Okay, so this says, to me, it just looks like Shea Butter Cottage. And this is from Africa as well. It's the product of Ghana. I got this um, a while back ago, which I fell in love with the smell. And it looks really nice. So as you can see, this is um, real hibiscus powder. It's not fake. It's not. So I'm going to use... I'm going to use a uh, half a teaspoon. All right. So that. All right. So next I'm going to be going in with the. Now this product I got from Henna Souk. And this is called the Goddess Hair. And I really, really like it a lot. All right. So, the goddess hair, this will not color the hair. It contains the following. Cassia, which straightens. Amla, which promotes hair growth. Hibiscus, which promotes shine. Fenugreek, which promotes thicker hair. Rose, palette, rose petal, which promotes balance. And aloe, which promotes moisture. And this is all organic. And I will link the um, henna souk in the description down below. All right. So what I'm going to be doing, it says that I can... So this one is saying that I have to mix it with water. So I'm going to move this over. And we're going to put this there. And I am thinking about how much should I put? I'm going to put like one teaspoon in there. Greek powder. This is a product of India. And that I'm also going to combine it in there as well. As you can see, it came with a plastic bag in there. Um, smells good. It smells like, I don't know what to really make out of it, but it smells good. I like it. So as you can see, it's Organic fenugreek powder, 100% vegan, no chemicals, and GMO, organically grown and harvested. So I'm going to put, I know that it has already fenugreek, but it wouldn't hurt just to add more, does it? Okay, so I'm going to put one teaspoon in there as well. The next thing I'm going to be using is my organic aloe vera powder, also product of India. Um, organic aloe vera powder, 100% vegan, no chemicals, GMO free, 100% organically grown and harvested. Um, I believe I got these two from... Um, which we call it from Amazon, and um, I put it in a Ziploc bag because, right? So as you can see, that's what it looks like. So I'm also going to put uh, like one teaspoon as well. Okay, so there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some water. I'm going to mix it. And pour all of that in there. 
and gotta mix it. Some more warm water. A little bit too thick. I need it to be a lot smoother. It smells like mud. <laughs> That's what it smells. Well, I'm not going to say mud. It smells very earthy. If you're not into earthy smells, you may not like this at all. So I just added some more water. This is all natural. I like doing stuff like this. I really do. If I could, I could get away with not having to use any product. You could do that. You can actually get away what not having to use any of these products and just go strictly with all henna from henna soup they got everything they got straightening they got they promote hair growth they got if you want to dye your hair they got everything i'm telling you this company is amazing and i absolutely do love it and and when i say i love it i'll show you I'm really serious when I say I love it. I got the Moroccan green clay. I got the Moroccan Rasul clay. I got the uh, organic cassia. I have a um, a henna glass glass bar. I have the. Uh, Oh my gosh, I got that one? Holy schnizzle! I didn't know I had it. Alright, I'm going to add this. I did not know I actually have it. I almost ordered it. <laughs> and I also have Shikai Kai powder, which also is Ayurvedic, redu help reduces graying and hair loss. I'm, and it's not even open. Look at that. What? So I'm actually going to add that to the mix, people. Alright, let me see what the instruction says. <coughs> <coughs> Woo! That powder! Woo! Have mercy! Oh my God, my nose. The powder just went up my nose. All right. I'm going to use one. I'm going to use Shikai Kai. I'm going to use a half a teaspoon of it. Woo. Okay. And I'm going to use Sukesh as well. I'm going to use a half a teaspoon. Let me move this all out of the way. Alrighty. A henna gloss. What am I supposed to do with this again? No, I'll do that next week. Okay. I'll, I'll show you how I make the hair gloss. Because I have another one inside um, in a box. And do that. Put that. I know the things you find is like a buried treasure. Alright, so getting back to this. So alright. So that looks good. Maybe I'll add a little bit more water just because. All right, so now I can go ahead and add that in. So, 
gonna mix that in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Don't worry. Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty, people. No need to worry. Don't be shy. It's it's like you know it's so natural. There's no chemicals whatsoever. It's all natural, and I love it. I mean, just think about how your ancestors were back then. They used everything that were all natural, yeah, for your hair, well, for their hair. Now, a little fun fact about me. I'm actually um, on my father's side. Um, his mother is from India. So you could just un un understand why I like these products. I like Ayurvedic products. Um, kind of, you know, even though I've never met. Even though I've never met her. I would feel like, where did it go? Oh, there it is. Now, even though I've never met her, um, I have a feeling that she'll probably would have taught me a lot of stuff about these things. So... What I'm doing is I'm mixing it, and I'm going to add some water to it. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to be doing as I'm mixing, um, I'm going to be washing my hair with Trader Joe's uh, Tingle tea, well, tea Tree Tingle Shampoo. And I'm going to, uh, after that, um, I'm going to be uh, um, following up after this treatment because this is going to be protein, I guess. Um, I'm going to follow up with a Mayel um, Hawaiian Ginger Moisturizing Overnight Conditioner. I'm going to leave that deep conditioner on my hair for about uh, as long as I'm, I'm, you know, I can use it as long as I want. Now, with the goddess, I want to know how long I can leave it on my hair. Okay, so basically you leave it on your hair for one hour. Okay, I'm just going to throw in a little bit more conditioner. All right, that should be good. So, yeah, all right. Okay, so, oh, nice. So, anything left over, um, I think you could freeze it. I think you could freeze it and use it another time. Um, I'm trying to figure out in what can I put it in. I know my daughter has some things. I can't figure out where it is. It might be in there. Um, okay. Um, okay, I know what I'm going to do. Um, I'm actually... If I need more, I can always grab it from this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour some in here. And anything, um, this could be for next week. Or actually, I'm not going to do that for, I'm actually going to leave it like that. Okay. So, that's what I'm going to be doing. And... All right, so as you can see, that's what I'm going to be doing for my hair. Oh, it smells pretty nice. I mean, it feels pretty nice. I like it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll be back. 
Okay, everyone, so what I'm going to be doing is, this is just going to be the first part of the a DIY deep conditioning mask. So, this is just showing you how you can make your very own DIY Ayurvedic straightening deep conditioner. So I'm going to go ahead and end it there. And hey, if you happen to like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and also click on the subscribe button as well as the bell icon. So you're always, so you're always going to be notified whenever I post new videos. And thank you so much for watching and you have a great day. Bye.